Hello everybody and welcome to BattleBots Reborn Dream Matches, Toro vs Vladiator. So, both bots have been upgraded, so we're gonna get into those changes now, starting with Toro. I completely rebuilt him on the inside, and I'm not satisfied with it still. So, when I swing him around here, you're gonna see that he's actually got three DDT burst motors that have forklift arms on the end of it. So he's got a flipper that's powered by, basically, three. And they each have a counterweight on the other side. But somehow, this flipper still struggles. I don't know if it's because two of the burst motors have all this extra weight that shapes his flipper and allows him to self-right if need be, but it just doesn't work, and I don't know why. Um, so I'm not expecting much from him. And now for Vladiator, who is also built pretty different. He also got some very nice custom skins, and I didn't make that mention when showing off Toro. For Vladiator, the really the only problem was the speed. I didn't do it right, because some reason I didn't put in Z-Tech motors when I first did him. So I originally went with all HP Z-Techs too fast, then I went with one set too fast. So now we got this. Bottle! Vladiator! The box is locked, the lights are on. It's all about fighting time. A rematch of what was perhaps one of Toro's best ever wins, and one of Vlad's worst ever defeats. Gladiator already spinning into the walls as Toro tries to chase him down. What might aid Gladiator in these matches is his pace in the sense that if he exposes himself, he could probably get away fairly quickly. Toro has to be quick with his flips. We don't even know if that flipper is going to work. So far, hasn't been able to do anything, but he hasn't had the cleanest of openings. And he used Gladiator's weapon to get a little bit of leverage there. So there's a target point for Toro. He's got it again, but not as cleanly. Nearly cornering Gladiator, who's trying to bash his way out, and he does. So far, it hasn't been the most eventful fight. You have Gladiator struggling to get his weapon firing. Chance for Toro there, and he missed it. A little too late, hitting the flip button. He had Gladiator by the front left wheel, but couldn't make anything of the opportunity. Again, the bots really struggling to get leverage on each other. Toro now cornering Gladiator, but again, can't get the flip he needs. I don't even know if he can get underneath Gladiator. He doesn't have perfect ground clearance, but it's not wide open on the four sides there. Gladiator with a bash. Tries to reset himself, but... Toro closing down the space. Trying to be aggressive, Toro, because the weaponry, it's not working for him today. Toro coming in across the box. Gladiator parries that attack. And then bouncing off the wall. That little girl that just screamed, you make me sick. I think she's absolutely right, because I'm starting to feel sick. Because nothing is happening between these two. We got a minute left in the fight. Gladiator throwing himself into the wall. Luckily, he doesn't break the plexiglass like he did in the Season 5 final against Dissector. But not much happening, though, between these bots besides a little bit of careless Vlad driving. Toro cannot get his weapon going. It pains me to say that we still got 30 seconds left of this fight, and I don't want to see any more. Toro again trying... The batteries now are going to start failing him at this point. Doesn't have unlimited battery supply. Gladiator doesn't look like he's lost too big of a step. Toro with a decent little pop there. But not much. Again. Ten seconds left. It's going to the judges. And they've got to decide a winner. How are they going to decide? How? Glad I'm not a judge this time. Well, actually I am. Shit. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to go shoot myself. Oh, good. It's over. Um, that was horrible. That was a terrible fight. That was not eventful at all. And somehow we got to decide a winner for this. Well, we're looking at aggression, damage, and strategy. It looked like Toro was a little more aggressive, but only because Vladiator's strategy is, you know, back up, ram, get set again, ram again. And he did have a slight bit of damage. So with those things in mind, Vladiator's going to get the win. And you know what? We're not doing another one.
We're not doing another normal fight. I cannot sit through that for another three goddamn minutes. That was terrible. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to have a second fight, but we're going to go to Wheel of Mayhem to help us out and hopefully make this entertaining. So let's spin the wheel and start the drum roll, and hopefully we get something good. <laughs> And it's Random Arena. Hmm, I'm not sure how well this will go for these two bots, but I guess that's the beauty of Random Arena, because you could get something that works perfectly. The box is locked, the lights are on. It's no more fighting time, and that felt very weird, having that start the fight in a Robot Arena 2 arena. It also feels weird having BattleBots music in a non-BattleBots arena. I don't like this. I also don't like these two fighting each other, um, so maybe we'll just, you know let it slide because right now I think anything including music hopefully will help slightly make this entertaining because these bots suck gladiator for the second time going over the electrical zone I don't know exactly what we're gonna call it let's go with the zap trap that sounds kinda fun right the zap trap here goes again over the zap trap gladiator doing it quickly after I dubbed its name so that I could say it again thanks gladiator He's already smoking. It's caused a lot of damage to his internals, to his electrics. Now, can Toro take advantage? The damage will surely slow Vladiator down a little bit so that maybe Toro can come in and get a flip. It's going to be difficult still. Vladiator again running over that zone there in the middle of the Zep trap. But Toro's flipper is just not good enough. Oh, maybe. No. It's not good enough. It, it really isn't. Oh, we got a little roly-poly motion there and again Toro okay there's potential it slightly worked there a few times Toro getting more flips than I think he's got in all other matches combined in about a three second span there he's going for more he's pressing his luck a little bit hopefully he doesn't get any whammies Letty has got a few whammies. That's probably what's inside him right now, screwing up the controls as he once again goes over the zap trap. How many times am I going to get to say that today? It's quite a lot. Again! Letty are getting shocked. It looked like Toro got off just in time. I mean, at least we see a lot of smoke now from Gladiator, so it looks like more stuff happened, but realistically, not much did. I mean, Toro did get a couple rolling flips there. It's hard to call it a flip because I don't even think Gladiator left the ground fully. Well, we got 40 seconds left in what has been a god-awful episode of BattleBots Reborn rematches. It doesn't matter because nobody watches this shit anyway. And it, yes, it's rather frustrating. You know, I tried to make the change with this, the Wheel of Mayhem, and its options. So it just sucks that nobody even probably knows we're doing this. Sorry, it's me getting out some anger. It doesn't help that these two bots are performing fucking terribly. Toro almost under there. He's kind of slowed down a bit. Gladiator is crawling around the box as this fight finishes. Well, that sucked. At least we know who won. Yep, Toro clearly winning that one. The Electric Arena, well... We could have had a more interesting arena choice, but I guess the electric arena technically did its job because Vladiator's pace got the better of him. He kept going on the zap trap. That is what we're going to call it now. And it screwed him up. So I guess it works. It, it's just very frustrating to see how poorly this came out. Now, believe me, I waited a long time before filming this, making sure I could get the bots right. I did everything I could for Toro Slipper, and even when it was struggling against some of the AIs, I made Vlad lighter, as light as I could. His batteries were struggling because I took out batteries. And the reason I went to all z -Techs, partially because it was a little more accurate, but because it was saving a little bit of weight. And still, Toro was struggling. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I can make Toro good. That sucks. I love when the outro question is easy to think of. So Vladiator lost his spike in this fight about five seconds into the match, and so he was weaponless the whole fight, and Toro dominated him because of it. Now if Vlad didn't lose the spike, do you think he could have won? Would Toro still have won, but maybe not dominating as much? What do you think? Have your say below. And if you want to see more from each recreated design, check out BattleBots Reborn on the channel. Toro appeared in episode 4, damn. And Vladiator appeared in episode 23. Yeah, it's kind of recent still. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.
the bot battle begin! 